Hi everyone, welcome to our Thrive and Survive video series. My name is Brett Smythe and I'm the founder of Engagement Consulting. We've put this video series together to help your business not only survive this crisis, but actually thrive. And one of the biggest topics that our clients are asking us for support on is how do they look after the well-being of their employees? How do they build the resilience of their employees? How do they keep their employees productive during these very challenging times that we face? So when it comes to employee well-being, there's lots of different things that you can do that don't have to cost a lot of money, but that really help your employees thrive in this period. We tell our clients four different things to think about. The first one of those is physical well-being. What can you do to make sure that your employees are staying fit and healthy over this period? There's some great things that companies are doing, from getting virtual coaches and having online gym sessions, to different apps out there that are for free, or even running a corporate fitness challenge. Uh, the second element to think about is the social side of things. Now, especially to overcome feelings of depression and people feeling isolated. There's lots again that you can do to make people feel connected, utilizing technology. But think about things like hosting virtual lunches or virtual pizza parties. You know, find those ways, or quizzes, find those ways to bring people together that aren't just about work. Find those ways to connect on a much more informal, fun and, and social level. The third element to think about is financial management. We're obviously all very stressed at this time about how we're going to manage our own personal cash flow. Many of us have had to take reductions in salary um, if we're lucky still to have a job. And as employees, we can really help by offering you know, training in terms of how to manage your financial well-being. Um, you know, what are the resources out there that, that you can give to employees to help them think about how to manage their cash flow over this period. Many companies also subscribe to rewards and discount programs remind your employees that those exist and encourage them to take advantage of those platforms. And then the last element to think about is the mental and emotional well-being. Um, there are fantastic resources out there. Everybody's come to the party on this one. Lots of online webinars that are for free that talk about you know, emotional resilience and, and your mental well-being. Get, get people from your own company to run workshops on this and consider putting a toolkit together like the one that we've put together for you that really just gives people pointers on what they can do to manage their resilience over this period. At the end of the day, we all want to come out stronger from this, and there's lots of things that we can do from a self-development perspective that will help us. So those are four really easy things that you can start doing to look after the emotional well-being and the mental well-being of your employees. Think about the physical, think about the social element, think about the financial side of things, and lastly, the mental side of things. The important thing is that you actually show your employees that you care and that you want to go that extra mile to look after them. We put together an action-packed toolkit. There's lots of information and resources in there. It's for free. Visit our website. It's all on there, engagementconsulting.com. Keep safe, everyone.